Hi. Uh, the other day, I had gone to meet my friend. Uh, when I reached his place, I saw that he was uh, pretty much you know, in a worried uh, state. Also, I asked him, hey, boy, what's the matter? So, he said, no, I'm actually finding it difficult to decide. I said, decide what? Oh, I'm facing an issue. I'm not able to decide what to do with it. Uh, should I take an action? Should I stop taking an action? Or what should I do? I'm, I'm not able to make up my mind. So he said, can you help me? So uh, I told him, okay, come on, explain what's your situation. I'll try to help you with it. So once he explained the situation, I thought through and uh, I said, uh, how can I use Master Sri Bhagavad's method to help this guy, you know, overcome his problem? Uh, then an idea struck me. So, once a particular situation comes up where either a decision has to be taken or a decision need not be taken, right? So, you are in that cat on the wall kind of a scenario, uh, you know, to be or not to be, you know, if I were to quote Shakespeare, right? Uh, so, if you take the decision, there are some pros and cons. If you don't take the decision, there are yet another set of pros and cons. So, depending on the situation, once you decide, you know, depending on the impact that that situation is having on you or the impact that your uh, course of action is going to have on you either either currently or in the future. If you decide, see the, the problem here is not just about the decision, you know, to, to, to make the decision or not to make the decision. The problem here is the worry that comes up along with it in the form of what will happen if something goes wrong? What will happen if such and such a thing happens in the future? Right? So, this worry is what is stopping us from coming to a conclusion. So, the moment we are able to make up our mind and you know, weighing the pros and cons, decide to take a particular action, then all other thoughts when it comes to, you know, the contrary uh, thoughts where you know, something might go wrong, it will not work out the way that we anticipated, etc, etc. These can be ignored. So, here, if I were to use Master Bhagavad's uh, method, that thought, the so-called, you know, unpleasant or unwanted thought is coming into my purview. And I'm saying, you know, do I have something to do with it? No. So, I just let it pass. So, uh, we have seen in one of the earlier videos that a thought has only a fraction of a second of lifespan. So, moment you let it pass, you ignore them, they don't trouble you. So, you go ahead, take that particular course of action and proceed. Alternatively, if you decide not to take any course of action, sometimes not taking action also is a decision, isn't it? So, moment you take that particular uh, option, then also whatever thoughts that come motivating us to take action, those can be ignored because at that moment, those are not going to help us tackle that situation. So again, using Master Bhagavad's methodology, those thoughts can be, you know, they can be allowed to flow through. Now, there is a third option where you may not have the information or the inputs to decide whether to take action or to avoid action. So, you can come to a conclusion only when you have further inputs or further information or speak to somebody, get some more knowledge and then take a course of action. So, the third category we can call the pending category. right? So, when it comes to that, you are clear that you are, you are waiting for some more knowledge and information to, ta to tackle that situation. So, you put it in a box called pending and let it be. You know, it could be say one day, you know, which, which means you, you deal with it tomorrow or 
depending on the situation if it is going to happen if it is going to take one week for you to get that information or that input you wait for one week so until that that waiting period is over again you are not going to pay any importance or give any heed to the thoughts that come either in favor of taking an action or against taking an action so either which ways even when you put it as a pending category and let it be until you have additional information to take a course of action you, you just let it go with the flow so in any of these three categories you know to take an action to avoid an action or to put it in the pending category the thoughts that are going to trouble us if they are going to let it pass we are, we are, we are going to let them pass then the emotional burden of having to fight with it drops so you are immediately at peace i explained this concept to my friend and uh, he sat thinking for about a minute to take it all in moment he understood what i'm try- what i was trying to say and of course he asked a few uh, specific doubts relating to that situation he was discussing with me M- moment he got clarity i could visibly believe me i could visibly see a sense of relief on his face poor guy was i don't know maybe trouble for the last few hours and uh, you know i could see that a weight was lifted out of his you know off his shoulders you know when i could see the, the the freedom that he was experiencing so um, i wanted to share this uh, small anecdote so that maybe there are people out th- out there who who can use this um, uh, uh, you know this concept and and overcome a similar problem that they are facing i trust that this video is of help to you thank you for the opportunity